Welcome to Master QuickBooks Online Video Tutorials in Ireland. I'm Peter Walls and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a VAT3 return to the Irish Collector General. So from the main menu select VAT3 report and set your dates. So this report is for November and December 2012 obviously. It's on an accruals basis and my liability is 432.32. Now I'm about to file a VAT return and when I file a VAT return in QuickBooks it closes out the period. In other words I can't make any more transactions in the period to which the VAT relates. Well I can't on, without a warning and if I've set a password without entering the password. Uh, but I can undo that. But what it also does is that it enters a journal which takes the VAT from the VAT control and puts it into uh, either a payable or a receivable account depending on whether you have a liability or an amount to be received. You can also undo that. I don't recommend that you either uh, change the password or that you undo the journal but they can be done and I'll show you how to do that in this tutorial. Now one other thing before we proceed, this is on an accruals basis. If you do it on a cash basis, do not file a VAT return because the numbers will not work. Um, the cash basis in Ireland is different from the cash basis in the UK and there's a separate Master QuickBooks tutorial on making a cash basis VAT return, so you might look that up. Alright, let's file a VAT return. QuickBooks creates a separate report that um, really reflects the, the VAT return already done. You, you, you can make, you can adjust, make adjustments and put the adjustments in a particular general ledger account here, one you select here. Uh, it does arise from time to time that you have to make adjustments outside your ordinary operations. So, I won't print it on this occasion but I do recommend that you do print a VAT, the, the VAT return. File a return and click No. Uh, now QuickBooks wants to know do I want to pay the liability now or later. I'm going to pay it later. Okay, that's it. QuickBooks warns me that the, the period, period is closed. It also tells me that uh, I need a password and that I can change that password in preferences on the edit menu. And it also tells me how to look at previous VAT returns from the VAT menu. We'll look at all that in a moment. We'll refresh this and notice that the numbers have gone to zero. That's because QuickBooks has put a general, a general journal entry in to cancel the numbers and transfer the amount to the accounts payable. So you can delete that journal if you want to. That's how you would undo the file VAT return. I'm going to close that. I won't memorize it. And then I am going to go into the edit menu. And I'm going to go into accounting preferences. Under the company preferences, I'm going to unset the date. It's set to the 31st of December. And I just go into the date and I delete it. And then click OK. And I click Yes here. No, sorry, I wouldn't let you add users. And that's it, the date is not set anymore. So now uh, I can make entries in December. A little bit dangerous if you have made the VAT return because it can be very messy if there's a difference between your books when there's a revenue audit and the actual return made. Um, and I've just shown you how to um, eliminate the journal entry that was made. You just re reproduce the VAT 3 report for the period and drill down and delete the journal. And looking at prior VAT returns, there's two made already. So if I produce it, it creates a PDF file. Both the VAT detail and the VAT summary. Now this is just a, a PDF file which can be printed or emailed. Same with the detail. Alright, so they're available at any time and um, your accountant may want to see them at the end of the year. That's it uh, for filing a VAT 3 with the Collector General. So just in summary, uh, you select VAT 3 from the VAT uh, menu, you select your dates, you file the VAT return, 
uh, and that's it essentially you've got to print it off and send it off or do it online uh, you can undo it by drilling down on the report and deleting the journal and undoing the password in the edit preferences menu and you can see previous VAT returns from the VAT menu by selecting previous prior VAT returns. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this Master QuickBooks online video tutorial on how to make a VAT3 return in Ireland to the Collector General.